there, and then we'll get your mask. Yeah. I want to uh, just get uh, Adriana Cotero on, on the show here. As um, I know her ears have probably been burning since yesterday afternoon because everybody is talking. Ears burning, blood <laughs> boiling. Uh, great job to you, and actually great Talk job to all the media. Yeah, and, trying and to get their questions. You in. know what? What's really interesting to me is as the uh, transparency and the accessibility has uh, dwindled. One thing that has definitely grown is the cooperation between uh, media outlets. I mean, we're always a little competitive, right? But I think at this time with COVID nineteen, and um, we're all struggling to get the most basic information out to our uh, people. And so I, I think it's really interesting in that we you know we had the post yesterday uh, doing a story talking about you and, and and other media outlets and we're playing clips from uh you know reporters from other media outlets and this is not something we would have probably normally have done you know three months ago but now it's kind of like we're all on the same page um and i think that i think it's great and i really think that that's where the administration screwed up well, you know, in a time in a time of a crisis, everyone sh- should be joining forces, right, and coming together. And there shouldn't be any any sort of um, I like I, I honestly I don't I do not like that there even that sometimes Adelope does get defensive because there shouldn't be any defense in this. And it, if anything, we should just all be working together because at the end of the day, we're trying to you know make we're just trying to get the word out. That's all exactly. we want to do. And the questions I ask, you know, I'm not a small business owner. I'm not unemployed. I'm not struggling to make ends meet every single day, but people are. So these are these are the people's questions. They may have muted me, but really they muted the people. And I know people have even reached out to me and they're asking me, did you receive an apology yet? This and that. But I don't, you know, I really don't feel like I'm deserving a one. I think that Adelope deserves to tell the people that they're sorry because they, they're the ones that deserve an apology because they muted them. They muted their questions. They muted their concerns. They, they muted their problems and basically said that they don't care. Right. And, and, and it's not just the media, too. It's the fact that you hear this from the second branch of government, the legislature, demanding transparency, yeah. demanding accountability. And you have mayors that are finding out about plans that affect their constituents directly, not knowing what's going on until... They hear it from the media. Mm-hmm. And we hear it from every, I mean, we get people calling us. I mean, and it's sad. It's sad here. It is, you know, being a journalist, it's hard to hear some of these things, but it's almost, it is almost our driving force that makes us want to keep pushing for these questions and pushing these questions and wanting to get these answers because we know that people are struggling. And, you know, typically, um, and, you know, just from me covering past natural disasters, or what have you, I was there in the middle of it, but I can't be there with these people and actually sit there because it is, you know, that we're dealing with the virus, but we're hearing their stories and they're, these are, they're, they're public outcries. They're, they need help yeah. and they need the assistance. And if anything, they need some sort of answer at the very least, even if it's not here, when are they going to get it? What, what can they plan for? How can they plan to make mm-hmm. yeah. How can it? Yeah. Even, even before we started containing COVID, this radio show, I had messaged Adeloupe, and I had said, we are going to start this radio show. And this radio show really is to get the information out. Right. Let people know what's happening. Yeah. And we invite you to come on the show every single day yeah. to get the information out. It never was, hey, let's go do a radio show and bash on the governor for four hours. It was not hours. like that. Hey, let's go do a radio it, show. It, so even, we can, yeah. even when <laughs> I talked to John Jr. Calvo, who's yeah. the deputy chief of staff, I told him that... That we're in this together. Mm-hmm. There's no competition here. Mm-hmm. Use us. Let us know what you need. Right. No, exactly. And, and it, it, it is, I know, it's frustrating because they, they're getting very defensive with it. And it's, I don't, I honestly don't understand it because if anything, there should just be, they should be acting with empathy throughout all this. And yeah. And the fact that you, you, you know what you just said about people struggling and people suffering. The fact that the governor, the lieutenant governor, the communications director, look at the media asking these questions like we got three heads. It's just, it's to me, it speaks volumes. They're just so out of touch. I mean, the governor cannot even summon the most basic emotion of empathy or compassion. No, I mean, I know, they, <laughs> when when um, I read that letter, you know, the small business owner letter, and then she had responded at the 
press conference and then came back with the one video. I was, I was honestly, I think I even messaged Sabrina and I said, I couldn't believe that. I was like, is this, is this for real? Am I watching? She's using the exact same words. And it's like, you know, that small business owner, it took a lot for him to stand up and write that and say something like that. And he wanted that message to get told to the governor. So, yes, I did say, OK, let me just, you know, cut through all the middlemen and say that. Let me put the message. Let me write, put the letter out there. But for her to come back and say, use his words against him. And then it's, it's, it's insensitive is what it is. Yeah. No, it, and it was incredibly insensitive. It's sad that we're even talking about this right now. Mm-hmm. When we should be talking about how are we going to help people. Yeah. We shouldn't be talking about Tony Babauta, Hanky Panky, and the penthouse suite at Paxar. We shouldn't. <laughs> um, and, yeah. you know, it would just be so easy. And, again, you got a awesome policy director. you got all these spin doctors up there. Why is it that all of these great minds who are being compensated with hundreds of thousands of our taxpayer dollars, why can't they get how simple it is to just – talk about the chief of staff staying at the hotel and not ignore it and not respond to it with a text message. I mean, they just fear the light so much. I can't wrap my mind around it. And, you know, yesterday with the question I did ask, I I feel like I don't understand how taxpayer dollars are not relative to recovery or into this. I mean, sure, they want (laughs) to try and control and but they do not have any control, first of all. The, the government will never does not. This isn't a dictatorship. They do not have the authority to control what press or the people ask. They can, they can say that they want to decline to comment, but to be muted midway through my question and yeah. then not be allowed a follow up. That yeah, they that, really don't like you, problem. girl. They really don't <laughs> like you. <laughs> and I, I mean, so be it. I mean, it's a, I mean, it's not about me at the end of the day. It's not about me. It's about the people. So they, it's okay. I mean. It is what it is, but live to ask another day, Adriana. Yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe today at one p.m. We'll see how that goes. We'll I see though. To see if we're getting a press conference. What was the response you got? Oh, I haven't received one. Uh, Janelle hasn't responded to me since last night either. So. Well, she responded to me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, are we getting competitive now, Chris? Uh, yeah, I said, "Is there a press conference today?" And she said, "We'll advise." So I'm, we were already saying after the press conference yesterday that there's no way that they're going to do because what's their excuse going to be today? Um, we're only going to answer questions about what a cloudy day it is. See, yeah, and at the end of the day, you can't do that. They cannot. We're only going to answer your question if you start off with five compliments for the gov- for the governor. They, yeah, they can't. They can say I don't want. I decline comment, and that's a that's a you know that's a that's an answer in itself. So. But even even if I was allowed that follow up, I would have said something along those lines that they don't have the authority to tell me what I can and can't ask. So right. yeah. here's my next question. You can decline to comment, but I'm going to let people hear this question. And, you know, part of it is Zoom, like the Zoom app. It's a, an app that you can mute people. And I think uh, <laughs> when they found that out, they're like, we're going to go with this app. And, uh, you know, the muting it to me, it's problematic because. Everybody, you guys watch these press conferences. When we do ask one of our two questions, and you can respond in the comments, do you feel like the governor and her team are answering the questions they are being asked? Because I don't think they are. I mean, you could uh, you could ask a yes or no question and get you know a five thousand word answer that doesn't even answer the question. Yeah. Which but but Adriana, where it goes wrong is if you ask a question and then you get a baloney answer, you are on mute and you can't say, hey, that didn't even, and then they're on to the next. No, yeah, and you can't clarify yourself. And I think I'm pretty notorious right now during the press conferences for asking multiple questions and long questions, <laughs> right. but, and that's okay, I'll take that title. <laughs> but it's because I only get two questions and, you know, I get muted instantly right after my first question. So, I only have a small window in between the first question and the second question to even clarify the slightest bit before I get muted again. Right. So, and I, I'm we're already adhering to that policy that they wanted to put in place. And, right. you know, as much as I, I did, I do still find that rather ridiculous. But if it's what we have to do in order to get a couple questions a day, then for the people, then of course, then. Yeah. Um, so you're right. We I, dealt I'm with gonna, that. I'm going to have to do that, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, 
ask the question that they want me to ask. That that's where I think they're drawing, mm-hmm. there's a big there's a problem there. There's yeah, and, problem. and I'm glad that we weren't the only media. I mean, even if we were the only media to to ask and to get shut down, then you know, so be it. I'm very proud of of you and our team. Uh, but we weren't. There was other media who were like, oh hell no, we're not gonna what. Yeah. You're trying to tell us what to ask. We haven't even seen you in six days, and mm-hmm. you want to try and tell us what to ask. Mm-hmm. And I, I, I got to agree, uh, Adriana, with what you and Samas said. It's not about the media. I no, mean, it's not. We're it's the not. messenger, pretty much. You know, we're the middleman. Yeah. You know, we're we're trying to get answers for the the people of Guam. And when you can't do that, it's and it would just it would have been so easy. And that's why I really don't feel sorry for this administration because everything you're not supposed to do. They're doing it five times, mm-hmm. and they're bringing it on themselves. And it's unfortunate yeah. because when you have good people out here trying to, you know, fight COVID nineteen, people like, you know, I guess Linda DeNorsi, who has other things on her mind, like eradicating COVID nineteen, community testing. Why should she have to go and defend the governor's bull boy, Tony Babauta? Why should she have to do that? Why do you guys? cast her in that light and make her deal with your political nonsense and then wonder why people don't believe anything the government says i just it's mm-hmm. oh my god <laughs> no no i i hear you i i but you know people are seeing it so at least people see it right they're, they do and that's what i because what? we're not controlling what they're doing like they're trying to control our questions so they're they're deciding they're, they're the ones making that decision so you want to press that mute button Everyone just saw you do that. Yeah, Gemma has a comment. The mute button is like a rude gesture and a slap in the face. They only want to hear what they want to hear, Ronica writes in. Uh, Tony writes in, her press conferences are a joke. No one wants to look at graphs and charts. The people want answers. Adriana, they should be happy you're asking the questions. Uh, They're breaking a lot of rules. Yep, they are. Yeah. Well, so... Oh, what are we gonna are we gonna make a bet, Adriana? How much are we gonna bet if there's a press <laughs> conference today? What do you think, Bree? I don't think so. You wanna bet I'm, lunch? I'm trying to be optimistic here. Yeah, you that's your problem. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to be <laughs> optimistic, so I'm I'm gonna say there's gonna be a press conference at one, but it's actually not gonna start until one thirty. <laughs> one forty five. That's another okay, thing. There's gonna I mean, be a press conference at one, but maybe one fifteen. And if not at one fifteen, definitely before one thirty. And if right, not yeah. one thirty, it'll be sometime around and even that time. S- something <laughs> as simple as that. It's like you guys right. are so clueless. You are so clueless that you don't know that all the people of Guam have to do, because we're not working. I mean, they're not working. They're not eating. No. They're not getting money. All they got to do is focus on this press conference. And that's why I love, that's one of the silver linings is I always want more people to pay attention to what the government's doing. Sometimes in pre-COVID, People that are like, God, shut up, Chris. We don't care. We don't care. We got this, you know, God stuff, whatever. We know. But now it's like everyone's paying attention. Everyone's seeing it. And something as simple as you tell the people of Guam you're having a press conference at 1 p.m. You don't even show up until 138, 140, 130, 1, whatever it is. And then you don't even apologize. I'm sorry I'm late. Or, oh, I was in a series of meetings or whatever yeah. well it'll be interesting to see if um the media but like i said it's not for the media it's for the people so right. if there is an apology that comes after yesterday's press conference because i'm at that i mean i i do think that the people deserve an apology because these are the these are their questions these are their concerns these are these are their these are their lives these are their realities and mm-hmm. And these are this is what they're dealing with on the daily basis, and they do. I mean, they didn't mute me; they muted the people. Right. Mm-hmm. Thank, thank you, Adriana. I, I don't think it's a difficult thing to respond. When are we going to get our stimulus checks? What is an update on the pandemic unemployment assistance program, the FPUC? I mean, these are the questions that we see every single day. When are you going to pay tax refunds? Not within the six-month district court settlement agreement. When are you going to provide some sort of a bridge? And they said, and with that, I mean, another, even if they say question. the same thing over and over again, I mean, you're responding, you're answering, or even mm-hmm. explain it that you know we're having a hard time. It's, we're not the only ones. But to and be insensitive and just be like, okay, next mm-hmm. question, right? Yeah. Oh, you know, on. even if they don't, if 
so that's that's another actually like a very good um, point for you that you bring up is because with that plan where they're waiting for the approval well maybe if maybe just explain the process then so then we can all understand it mm -hmm. explain it so we can all be there and go through it with you that way we have some sort of idea because we don't need you to get defensive and say if I had the money I would give it to you we need you to just tell us why we're not getting it and when we when they can get it you know so explain the process to get that approved if you don't have the answer just explain the process and I think that's something you know I'm, I'm I am very surprised by even Janella and Crystal because they are they used to be in the media and you know they were news reporters so I'm really surprised that that isn't something that they have yeah but it's almost like one of those things where you have someone who used to be a Jedi Knight and then they turn over to the dark side and now they're a <laughs> Sith Lord and they got the red lightsaber <laughs> well I don't know but Jay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, Adriana, hi. Good morning. Hi. Um, hi, Jason. Hey, we miss you, man. Um, there, there are a couple of questions. I mean, you're getting a lot of support from our online community. A lot of people are saying, you know, continue to do what you do. We're proud of you. You know, that's not easy to do, obviously. Uh, but people are actually asking you right now, and they're like, when the when the press conference went offline, were you able to answer to pose your questions at all, or did you actually get any sort of uh, reasoning? People are asking, you know, even if you know privately um, about, you know. Yeah, the whole so process did, behind that i did message janella and i'm and i'll just go through the message and i did ask her i did ask her under what authority the government has to control press or people's questions i said we're already adhering to your one question and follow up then we get muted and that's already pushing it you do have the authority to, de to decline a comment but to not allow me to even have a follow-up can you please explain so then she said, um, you were allowed to finish your question. She said, I was muted by accident, but we unmuted you right away. I was very clear multiple times that questions should be relevant to COVID recovery plan and that any questions outside of the plan will be addressed after the press conference. So then I went back and I had asked her then, does that mean that AUM can have an interview with the governor herself on these matters on our radio segment then? Like, let's, then let's address these questions, right? Outside of the press conference. That's not, and she said, you can make the request and send the questions to me. So then I sent her the questions send and I didn't make the request. So, yeah. You got you to gotta send the governors your questions in advance. I think she's a big girl. She should be able to answer big people questions. And, I, and I'm and i someone that's very against sending questions before. But at this at the end of the day, I'm like, well, these are questions that people need. So I'm about, I'm, I'm slightly bending them. I'm like, mm -hmm. I guess I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to. But... I I did send her the two that I asked yesterday, or the and the second one that I did, and then I believe I, I sent the response. I think you guys read it earlier right. in the group. So I did get um, a little bit of a response, but you know the response isn't coming from the governor. We want to hear from the governor, so that's why I asked questions during the press conference because this is the only time we get our island leader. This is the only time. This it's is the, the only time we've had her in the last six days. Remember, they didn't do a press conference Friday. They didn't do one Saturday. They didn't do one Sunday. They didn't do one. Yeah, they did one Monday. Monday, they did one Monday, but was she there? Yes, she was. She was there. Monday. She was there Monday. Okay. Then yeah. Tuesday there was none. Wednesday there Wednesday was, was the, but it was Estevez. The doctor. And, yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 I mean, you know. Uh, I did ask her. I said, censoring the media. What do you have to say in response to that? And she said, you were not censored. You were permitted to finish asking your question. I previously stated multiple times questions outside of the recovery plan would be addressed after the press conference, which is exactly what I've done above. This concludes my statement. Thank you. And then, <laughs> and then, and then I responded. <laughs> you were like, "Oh, hold on." Oh, no, concludes. she didn't. That concludes. <laughs> oh, no, I ain't concluded. Then okay. I, then yeah. I, yeah, then I responded, but yeah, I didn't receive a response after my response. But that's okay, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna censor myself for the radio on this. <laughs> All right. Just okay. Well, well, Adriana, speaking of responses to responses to responses, um, you have now oh. joined apparently a very uh, elite and distinct <laughs> club here on the show oh. because Chris and Sabrina, I, I'm sure you know, leading up to your interview, um, have had their own uh, comments like be, turn into hashtags. You know, like. Get Janella on was what Chris said. That became a hashtag I very quickly. That. Bree was yeah. like, answer your phone, girl. Uh, Adriana, you have now become uh, Adriana, you rock. <laughs> that is a hashtag oh, people okay. are using in our comment stream. And someone put simply, Adriana, go get him, Tiger. <laughs> wow. Got it. All, All right. right. Well, thank you. Well, I just got asked what kind of questions you got for today. I'm curious, though. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? <laughs> at the end of the day, like I said, it's for the people. My questions are for the people. So I think everything I ask today is going to be in regards to getting the federal assistance and where we are with that plan. Because 
I did bring that question forward on Monday, and we never got any specific details. So, right. you know what? That's that's what it comes down to. Where are we with the with getting the money in the people's pockets that they need? So that's that's what my questions will be on today, um, because that's that's what they they want to know. They, that's what we need. That's what yeah. we need. To know. Yeah, that's yeah. what we need to know. Okay. And, uh, that's what it comes down to. So mm-hmm. it'll be it'll be like that. But you know, I'll probably make it a lot longer and add multiple questions in it. But right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Adriana. Keep, up, Adriana. Keep up the great work. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Wash Thanks. your hands. Yeah, yeah, you too. Okay, bye. <laughs> she's got another hashtag now. Yeah. She's got another hashtag. All of a sudden, she's hashtag Lady Boss Adriana. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nine fifteen. We got to get uh, Bob Fenton from uh, FEMA Region Nine okay. on. Bob, g- Bob, good morning. I'm sorry about that. There's a lot going on. Are you there? Okay, might have lost him. Oh well. Uh, nine fifteen. We are Guam's favorite, I-94. We're going to take a little bit of a break here, a quick one, and uh, come back uh, with more guests here on the show. I'll we'll do a little news from the KUAM uh, news team, Jonah Gontrar first. Good morning, Guam. Keeping you informed, KUAM News brings you bank.